Tonight, live at the Scullery Theater from the fight capital of the world, in the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast, starring your hosts, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Talia Ferris, and music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, from Fashion Feed Las Vegas, Catherine Troy. Author of the novel Resurrection, Bill Wise Carter. And a magic performance by Larson Eisenberg. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who's never been down for the count, Mr. Trey Tayaferi. Okay. Okay, Mom, calm down. How do you guys do today? We got a great show. Yeah. You guys excited awesome, for this? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Exciting show. Exciting show of you tonight. Fashion feed Catherine Troy is here today. Yeah. yeah. Author of Resurrection, Bill Weiscarver is here today. Yeah. And to end the show, the mysterious Larson Eisenberg is gonna do some magic for us. This is good. Actually, he came to our he came to one of our meetings a few weeks ago and he did some tricks on us and blew my mind with this weird trick that he did. Do you remember that when he did yeah, that trick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. He like did something, he said, text me something, text me a person's name. And then uh, he showed me his phone and said, did, did my, is that your number, is that the text message? And just said text message and he put it down. And then he's like, and he's like think of the name like it's, like it's on the Hollywood sign and that there's a, um, a spotlight going over it and then stop it. And then he's like, is the letter B? And I was like, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> and then he's like, did you say George Bush? And I was like, yeah, how'd you know that? And it freaked me out. So actually, and then later today, or earlier today at 7 o'clock, he, uh, he emailed me, and it just said, my prediction. Then he texted me and said, don't open that email. So it's going to be later in the show. I, he probably just has all my information on my phone now. <laughs> so look out for that later today. I he hope it's not think. George Bush again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's just said a big person. Yeah, I was trying to be tricky with George Bush. <laughs> um, so look out for that at the end of the show. I, I didn't open it. Um, I'm scared. I don't like when someone's in my mind or my phone, especially my phone. <laughs> don't swipe at my pictures. Yeah, clap for that. I don't like that. So this week, um, Apple announced the new uh, Retina display for their MacBook Pros. Right? Yeah. Uh, they said it's the best MacBook Pro they've made since the last MacBook Pro, and will be the best MacBook Pro until they make the next MacBook Pro, which should be announced right after you buy this MacBook Pro. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apple also released prices and dates for their highly anticipated Apple Watch. The prices started at $350 and go all the way up to $10,000. Yeah. The watch can do things like tell time and tell people that you have too much money. <laughs> uh, are you guys going to get the are you guys going to get the Apple Watch? I don't know, Kyle, what do you think? You going to get that? You got Apple everything. Yeah, I might get well. the Apple Watch. Uh, might be a little spy, you know. Yeah. James Bond stuff going. Kind of like Dick Tracy? Yeah. Yeah, I, when I when I saw Dick Tracy, I always wanted to talk on my phone. But now I'm like, eh, I'm ignore. Yeah, I don't want to talk to those <laughs> bill collectors, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the fight of, that all of downtown Las Vegas has been waiting for, Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, will happen in Las Vegas May 2nd. The purse for this fight could reach up to $300 million, which makes this the most expensive fight since the Iraq War. <laughs> Tickets for the event are expected to range from $1,500 to $7,500. But with StubHub service charges, the total will be about $13,000. <laughs> Actually, I, I wanted to talk about Mayweather's entourage. Have you guys seen his entourage for his fights? Take a look at right here. Right here, this is entourage. Lil Wayne and Justin Bieber. What's Bieber doing in here? Me, I don't know, I don't know. Nothing says I'm gonna beat you up like, baby, baby. Oh. <laughs> so, um, I think that May, or, uh, Pacquiao needs to up his entourage. Yes. And since we are kind of huge in the Philippines. We are, we are. And he's Filipino. Right. I'm basically the Bieber of the Philippines. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. <laughs> yeah. Manny, I know you're listening. I know you're watching the show. I know you're a big fan. You tweet all the time. Put me in your corner. I'm there. 
I'm good, I'm funny. I'm not like ha ha funny as you can see, but like I'm not gonna take attention away from the fight. Uh, I'm good at massages, yeah. <laughs> also, I also have my own entourage. Look at this, this hey. is my entourage right here. Hey. Nothing says tough. <laughs> tough guys. Tough guys. Two, two bald guys in your corner. <laughs> You'll always win, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got a great show for you guys tonight, as I said earlier. But first, let's hear it for DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. <laughs> Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs> 